Hey everyone, today I'm exploring uh, the features of this Batteria Power MPPT solar uh, charge controller. This will allow me to take some of my like foldable solar panels or my rigid solar panels and charge things like my 12 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries that I use for amateur radio and for emergency stuff. So let's talk about the efficiency here. Uh, this MPPT solar charge controller it's designed to automatically monitor 12 volt and 24 volt DC power systems. Uh, well, the system voltages. It'll track an efficiency up to 100%. That means you can maximize the charging of your batteries, saving like 20 to 30% of the charging time compared to other controllers. Controller supports a bunch of different battery types like AGM, gel, deep cycle, uh, sealed, lead acid, flooded, and LifePo4. I'll be using this for LifePo4. Uh, this flexibility ensures that you have compatibility with a wide range of solar setups, which is nice because not everyone buys the LifePo4. They're completely fine with the older, heavier technology. Uh, with amateur radio, the battery boxes that I build, I want them to be able to be moved quickly and easily. So the lighter they are, the better. LifePo4 gets pretty light for the density, especially like the 100 amp hour ones that are like you know, 25 to 30 pounds, and it gives me a lot. But the much smaller ones, you know, 20 amp hour, I can put in a tiny little box, and it's nothing if I have to, like, hike that in somewhere or something. So something like this is nice. This actually weighs almost as much as, like, a 10 amp hour battery, probably uh, a third as much. So, like, it's not adding a ton of weight to my kit if I'm going to be carrying out, like, uh, a nice... Uh, lightweight rollable panel or something I wanted to use it. I'm going to use this with a foldable glass panel. We'll go outside here in a minute and test that out. So one of the standout features here, uh, it's got wireless phone app control, which is pretty cool. We'll check that out. I'll try it and tell you if I like it. Uh, you can conveniently monitor control the charge and panel productivity remotely using their app. It lets you customize battery charge parameters, specific use scenarios. That way you get like optimal performance of the different battery types. Uh, the controller offers high security, it has built-in protection systems. It's got for three-stage charging like equalized float and boost. Those maximize the solar energy usage. They kind of like fully protect your battery with overcharge protection, over temperature protection, uh, over voltage, over current, short circuit, uh, discharge protection, and then reverse polarity. Uh, the way I'm using this, reverse polarity will never be an issue, but it's nice to have it there just in case. Uh, the battery of power, 20 amp, 12 volt, 24 volt MPP2 wireless solar charge controller. Uh, it's efficient, it's versatile, you know, it's a nice little charge controller. I've bought other ones in the past uh, that leave something to be desired with the case. This case is pretty nice. It does come with some adapters to other cable types. It gives you just a plain one so you can crimp whatever you want on. Like if you wanted to put power pole or something on, uh, my batteries all have power pole input on them. So I have an adapter already made. And then, you know, you just, you just get a nice little things and a couple of screws to mount it because you can mount it down if you want. These aren't actual screw holes holding the case together. These are screw holes that you can put screws through to mount it to a board if you have this in a more permanent setup. So let's get this thing outside, get it hooked up and show it in action. So I've got it hooked up right now. We have it on this panel and it's not an optimal angle or anything. Um, just because I'm trying to demonstrate to you here. But you can kind of see he's got the little display it shows approximately how much of the life po cell is charged so it's flashing around somewhere between 75 and 100 percent and you have the button for set and enter let's go ahead and go inside real quick okay and get it to focus here well, it doesn't want to focus very well so you'll have to take my word for it here. It's showing 16.1 volts in right now. Um, you get your current voltage and power going into the battery. You get the temperatures of the controller. Any of the historical data. So it's showing that we've done one watt hour since I plugged it in maybe a minute and a half ago. And then the max charge it's had is 57 watts. Obviously, it's overcast, and I don't have those panels um, in their best configuration. But it's working, and it's working great. And that's pretty much the features in the app. Um, you can look at historical data, and you can kind of change the parameter settings and stuff. But 
you know, uh, it, this is all you really need because you can just take a look at it. And, you know, if you got this in a more permanent installation, this would be amazing because you can just pop it up on your phone. Oh, yeah, the panels are doing all right. Cool, cool. And you're on your way. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there's not much to really say. It works. It's a decent little solar controller. Um, I like that it has the app. I have another one that's actually inside that battery box that I can hook up. I keep them in all my battery boxes, just cheap ones, and they don't have features like that. So you're just kind of like, okay, I'll look at my voltage display that I put on the battery and kind of guess. So it's nice that you have those features and you can kind of see, like I'll show you on the panels here. Obviously those panels aren't optimal right now. Like one of them's not even facing the sun and etc. But, you know, just a hasty job here. If you're out in the field or something, take a look at this again. Yeah, so it's 4.2 amps in right now, 13 volts, 4.1. Monkey with it a little here. So now it's more stable at 4.2 amps going in. Not bad. I like it. Uh, I'll have a link to this in the description. Sticky comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.